What is up? Today we are going to be looking at the Twisted T radial bracket caliper mounts. Twisted T industry. Get yourself. Today we're going to be discussing hot off of the CNC machine these new radial bracket mounts from Twisted T Industries. These are for Harley Davidson applications. Whether you are running a 13 inch rotor or looking to run a 13 inch rotor, for caliper fitment, these are intended to be used with calipers that are 108 millimeters in sizing. Some examples of calipers that will fit these brackets from Twisted T Industries is gonna be calipers off of a YZF-R6, like the ones that we were running on our motorcycle. You also have some from the R1M, which is gonna be similar to the last ones that we just noted that are just a monoblock style caliper. You could also run a set of Takiko calipers, or if you wanted the bread and butter, the amazing Brembo M4 calipers. Those are the ones that we we're looking forward to adding to our bike down the line and swapping and upgrading from our YZF R6 so it matches our Brembo radial master cylinder. One of the things that I can really appreciate from these radial caliper brackets is gonna be the countersunk bores. Depending on which caliper you're running may also determine how many washers you're gonna use to space your caliper. We talk about it in the video that if you're currently running an 11.5 or 11 point inch front rotor and you're looking to get a little bit more stopping power, this is one of the items that you'll be looking to get along with a 13 inch rotor and a radial caliper. These are available for pre-order and if you use the coupon code in the drop down section below, you can save yourself 10%. And with that, I invite you to check out the additional links in the drop down section below. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the install of this video and a closer look at these radial caliper mounts from Twisted T Industries. Yeehaw. Cheers y'all, hope y'all enjoy the video. What's up guys? Look what we just got. These are radio caliper mounts from TTI. Twisted T Industries located here in Round Rock, Texas. T T Ah, baby. Right now we're running the Speed Merchant radio caliper ones with a set of radio calipers from a YZF R6. But this is just gonna go ahead and replace it, I believe like this. And it's just gonna add a little bit more raw. It's gonna kind of match those rotors a little bit more. Happy to support TTI. We're also running their foot pegs, the MK1s. Uh, this is without the adapter, but this is paired with a set of Performance Machine True Mids. I'm stoked. So these are. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. So we're also going to need a spacer to sit flush on there and that actually gives us a more of a close contact with our rotor that there's this this light finish here this ring where the pads haven't been making contact with the speed merchant one but the reason for that is because we do have that shelf or that lip on the YZF Arthur's caliper. If we had shaved that down, we wouldn't have this because it would be flush. So what we we're gonna do is just add the spacer to the TTI one, so that way it's not too far in. Just gonna have it sit on there. And what I'm looking at is making sure that the brake pad isn't gonna be rubbing on the carrier for our rotor because that could cause some damage to it and get it all messed up and it's not gonna be a fun ride. Now the cool thing about TTI is that they include ARP hardware. It's gonna be a 3 8 for the one that they include. So we're gonna add some Loctite to it and then just have it find its home. That's a good, that's a good glob on that one. The thing that you're gonna to wanna to do that you may have to remove your front fender is because we just used that one washer, that spacer, we believe that's all we need. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look because we did mock this up previously. They did ask for our help uh, to have our bike be kind of like a guide for measuring something a while back for these radial caliper mounts. Is just make sure from the top angle 
that your pads are basically centered because basically you don't want one, let's use this. Uh, here's your rotor and what you don't want is for one pad to kind of have an opening and so the rotor sitting on the inside of one, the other one's having to do more work. It's ideal to have it directly centered so they're both applying the, direct, the same amount of pressure on each side. And that is going to do it for today's video. These radial caliper brackets from Twisted T Industries look wicked smart. They are going to be available in raw, gold, and black anodized finish. And a reminder to use coupon code FXDB at checkout to save yourself that additional 10%. As well as checking out the additional coupon codes that we have down below. For now I'll be seeing y'all on the next one. Yeah, what's up? Go ahead and roll in credits. I know North. This is the North.